we are at the corner of Randolph and State. State and Randolph is Chicago Theater. And we are at this massive building. Nederlander Theater. That's where we are headed. Nederlander Theater. This building being finished in 1926. There's a story behind where it sits. If you ever heard of the Iroquois Theater, which was built in 1903. If you ever heard of that fire, that's a significant fire in the history of the world. Hundreds of people died in a theater fire here. But we're not here to talk about that. Uh, Nederlander opening 1926. Vaudeville movies. This is a massive building. In the 30s, you would have had uh, people like Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington played here in 1931. He, he was here quite frequently during that period. If you remember, Ellington started playing at the Cotton Club. The Cotton Club had broadcasted shows. So Ellington's name was broadcasted well past Harlem. So he had early, a bit of early fame. Billy Holiday, Frank Sinatra. Uh, when Judy Garland was playing here, she started as not under the name of Judy Garland, but she was with the Gum Sisters. Uh, due to the comedy in the name, uh, they saw fit to change the name. Nina Simone played here summer of 2000, moving up in time. And you had people like uh, Stevie Wonder who played here November 17, 1971. He's backed up with uh, Gladys Knight, Pips, and the uh, Constellations. Cab Calloway, the list goes on. Cab Calloway, Ella, Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughn. And you have even the groups more than just the music. You have uh, George Burns, Gracie Island, Axe, and even the, uh, the Marx Brothers. And the Three Stooges performed here. Not music related, but uh, still entertainment. Let's take a look, closer look. This theater was closed for a little over 15 years. You know, during that period, 70s, 80s, that crazy time period in American history. And then it reopened in 1998, bringing back live theater. It's a part of theaters in Chicago, known as Broadway in Chicago at the moment. So many times when Broadway shows are opening. Before they open in New York, they'll open in Chicago. So this is a series of theaters where, where they will open before touring. Dempsey Travis uh, mentioned this. Um, seeing Duke Ellington at the Oriental as a kid in 1931, his mother brought him to see Duke Ellington here. Unfortunately, a lot of the, the black entertainers couldn't stay downtown. So after the performance, Duke would head over to Jerry's Palm Tavern on 47 and uh, have a meal and then stay at the hotel on Southside. You can still see the Oriental sidewalk sign. They all grace this walk. And they are hiring. Look at the magnificence of that theater. Yeah. I was trying to get a, see if they get tour. Usually they give tours on the weekends, but it doesn't look like it's available at the moment.
take a look at the marquees, different shows coming up. This is Broadway in Chicago. Simon and Garfunkel story. Marlon Rouge. Hairspray, Oklahoma. Here's a different view of the theater looking east. Just imagine those entertainers coming out during that day. Let's take it back to the 30s. Imagine Duke Ellington coming out of that theater. You just saw a show of Burns and Allen, and now you and your significant other are headed for dinner. You've just seen the Gum Sisters, and now you and your spouse are headed for a pleasant walk along Michigan Avenue. Guys, it was getting cold out there. 30's not that bad, but stand out there for a while. Um, we didn't get to check out the interior of the theater, but if we get a chance to go inside later, we'll do. We'll add on to this. Um, but check online, you can see photos of the interior of the theater, it's very beautiful. Check it out, the stage, balcony, all of that area. So uh, if you get a chance, search online for that, and you can also search for the history as well of the Iroquois Theater Fire. Uh, this has been another episode of Derek Bounds Music Blog. Thanks.